hi everyone, it's me, Moonlight Guidance. I hope you are doing well. We're going to have a look and see what is coming through for your reading. And if you ever wanted to purchase any personal services, readings, items, rituals, or anything like that, there's thousands of five-star reviews on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com, and also linked down below. But I offer personal tarot readings and also rituals for like love, money, success, marriage, career, healing, black magic removal, protection rituals, and also intention items like candles, sage bundles, teas, bracelets, candles, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow. They have thousands of five-star reviews. Everything is linked in the description box below. Okay, so let's start with your reading and see what is coming through. If this resonates at any point, don't forget to like the reading and also do comment down below if you felt comfortable enough to let me know. This is a safe space where you can always share things. All right, so first and foremost, I can see that you are 100% confused about your love life. You are very unsure as to which direction and which path things are going to go in. Um, the reason for this is because you really felt that you could you know, trust somebody here and then things were, went south, basically, okay? Things went south. You really felt like this person was the person for you. Things were going to work between you both. Things were going to come together. There was, you know, a real sense of like passion and chemistry, but also understanding. There was a sense of something deeper than anything you've ever felt before. And there was a sense of this person literally feeling to you as though they are your counterpart. They are your your other half, they are the chosen, you know, like they're the one for you basically. And that's what you felt. You literally felt like they were to you as how both of these are, king and queen of wands, right? That energy of companionship, match made in heaven. And page of swords, things started to unravel from what I see here. You know, you started to feel like they weren't doing enough. They weren't being as proactive. They were not being perhaps as generous. They were not doing enough, saying enough. Um, being enough and that has really overwhelmed you overworked you know a lot of that energy and it's just made you feel really really sad not knowing why and how and the reasoning behind it all it's just been really overwhelming and very challenging and you know the ten of cups you really want this ten of cups you want a loving life partner you want love you want support you want understanding you want care you want someone who's there for you not half of it right because Ten of Cups and the Five of Cups. The Five is the half. The half is like not knowing what is going on, okay? Um, and then the Ten of Cups is a sense of like, all right, this is everything completed together. So that's what's happening is that overall you want this, but you feel like you're just constantly being stuck with this and it's just not what you want and that's where you are at this very point in time. So the Empress actually came out as I was shuffling and rambling at the same time, but the Empress represents here love. It's Venus, okay? You will not be left without love in this lifetime. Repeat after me, I will not be left out of love in this lifetime. Because you won't. You will not be left without it. You will have it. You will feel happy. Things will come together for you. You will find yourself feeling very fulfilled, very excited, very motivated. Your love life is going to progress and things in your love life are going to come together. Okay, there is just no doubt in my mind because right now you're thinking like, no, right now this is what's happening. So that's how it's going to be forever. Eight of Cups, no. Eight of Cups is a retreating energy. The universe right now wants you to do you and to look after yourself. Right now, you have yourself, okay? Yes, this person may not be doing much, saying much. Um, you feel like, you know, your past in terms of your love life has been very unlucky. But what's also really important to keep in mind is you're very lucky right now. You have yourself. In the future, you will be very happy, okay? And you will look back at this moment and think to yourself, oh, I wish I took more care of myself. I wish I did more things for myself. I had more time for myself. I wish I utilized it for myself. So even though, you know, in the future, you will be thinking to yourself like, wow, like I'm so happy and I'm, you know, very fulfilled. You will look back at this moment and think to yourself, I wish I just did things I liked more. I wish I just looked after myself. I wish I took more care of myself. And that's the interesting thing that I'm seeing here with the Eight of Cups. Now is the time for you, okay? This is so important because even with the law of attraction, when you do you and you take care of yourself, the universe will shape itself around you. And that's very, very important to know. Basically, 
the law of attraction means knowing what you want and then being okay without it so the more you can accept where you are in your life right now and retreat and look after yourself and put yourself first and work towards your goals and your dreams everything you want will actually then start to follow that's why a lot of people also um say as well you know that um love will happen when you literally least expect it when you're so confident and strong and happy within yourself boom that person appears when you kind of are not even looking for it you know and and it will just happen but when you're really looking searching begging pleading for it it doesn't happen because the energy is not correct so that's very important um six of swords shows that you will be able to move on and away from this sadness frustration pain this chaos that you've been feeling of things not working your way going your way working out the way that you want it to like things are going to get so much better for you and you are going to find yourself having so much more happiness and so much more joy so even though you are very confused right now that is not going to be your entire future seven of cups shows you know that honestly like what you've envisioned your life to be in terms of love by having you know someone that's there for you someone that is kind caring like if you're not very well this person shows up like if you have a problem you want to discuss it this person is like an ear they they listen you know they give you advice they give you feedback they care that's exactly what is going to manifest into your life and you will find yourself feeling just so much happier and stronger in regards to that you will feel like they genuinely care and they genuinely appreciate you and it will make you feel like your fears was something that you can absolutely you know get through because you do have the fear two of swords i'm pretty sure that once you close this video you will still kind of think to yourself yeah but like what if it never happens it's a very real fear to have to think like oh will i be alone for the rest of my life will i be without love or will i be in an unhealthy relationship and the truth of the matter here is that you have still got that fear right two of swords like sometimes you wake up and you're like you know what it'll be fine it'll be fine and then another maybe two hours later you'll be like no but like what if it doesn't happen because it hasn't happened so far right that fear is something that you know is still there for you it's a very real thing um you are a human being so i validate that but the seven of wands shows you will be able to get through that you will you will find so much happiness and so much confidence within yourself like it will happen for you okay and that is something that i have to mention here so you will find and have love okay there is no doubt at all there never was it will happen for you it will come together for you but it won't happen so so much and so long as you're in that fearing energy okay five of swords like you oftentimes also look at other people and think like oh they're so happy like how did it happen for them and it's not happening for me and the truth of the matter here is that everyone has a different path i'm going to give you an example and i think this is a bit of a, a bit of a sad example but um it's it's one that has to sort of be given but basically um there there was a person that i have known okay um who was really upset you know um being single for such a long long time and then um she would witness all of the friends you know mutual friends getting married and having children and all of this and she was like oh my god you know and, and for several years you know seeing all of that happen and really interestingly enough, you know, she went through a breakup whilst all of these friends were getting um, married and stuff. And she specifically looked at, you know, one of the friends getting married and was like, you know, oh my God, like I'm behind in life. Recently, one of those friends um, went through a divorce. And now she's found, and now this friend that I'm talking about who kind of looked at all of that and was very sad has actually found you know the right person for them so you cannot compare your situation because you might idolize something and be like oh my god like how have they got that but you don't know whether that thing is actually even right for that person or you know in that sense now i'm a tarot reader so this is my job that i do this right but i remember even telling my friend at that time you cannot compare because comparison is the thief of joy and you have no idea what happens behind closed doors and this is something i have to tell you if you are looking at other people's relationships of course be happy for people but do not compare yourself thinking that they are having a better life than you or that you are behind it is an absolute you cannot compare these situations okay you cannot you look at celebrities and you might think like oh they have this amazing life they have all this money you have no idea what happens behind closed doors and the things that they are going through all the tricky situations messy situations they have got in their life so the main thing here is do you take care of you and life will shape itself around you and you will have the happiness and the abundance that you so rightly deserve 
do not doubt it, okay? So the affirmation for this reading is, I do not doubt it. Trust me, okay? Trust me on this one. So this is your reading, and if this uh, resonates with you, remember, no doubting, please. It's going to happen for you. And um, comment it down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well for more readings. I post every day. I also have TikTok and Instagram. I post um, short readings on there every day. It's moonlight.guidance on Instagram, moonlight guidance on TikTok, and I'll see you all very soon.